Well, you know, being a touch-free guy, I got into the industry about 15 years ago um, with touch-frees, and we operate 14 in Bay Automatic touch-frees. And, um, you know, I was afraid of friction car washing at that time. Uh, the technology has, has come so far, the engineering and, and modern wash materials and technology has come so far that it's funny, and I laugh a little bit because I find myself not washing my own truck in my own touch-frees. I find myself using my McNeil tunnels for my own vehicles. Well, in this market here in Kingsland, Georgia, um, we had a brand new competitor coming. We had operated this market for about nine years. Uh, we had the onset of a brand new express tunnel coming less than a quarter mile away. Uh, we had had two very successful touch-free bays here and decided that in order to keep up with the industry movement, uh, we needed to move to friction. And in order to process more cars, we decided to go conveyorized rather than in-bay. So uh, we just wanted to, to be able to compete in the marketplace and move along with what the industry was doing. The site here in Kingston where we decided to do the mini tunnel conversion uh, started out as a two-bay uh, touch-free automatic and a three-bay self-serve that I built in uh, 2003. Uh, we operated it until 2000 and late 2011 when we decided to tear out and make the conversion to the Embay Express. Um, we started just uh, a couple weeks before Christmas in 2011, tearing out the concrete, uh, removing the existing flooring that was here, getting ready for the mini tunnel conversion. Um, after the holidays, the equipment came in and we were washing our first car uh, by the second week of February. As far as price, uh, when you look at putting in a, a, a new in-bay automatic, uh, putting in a mini tunnel will cost you probably twice to two and a half times what replacing the system with um, an in-bay automatic would cost. However, the throughput more than quadruples. So when you start talking about return on investment, you can make a lot more money with a conveyorized car wash than you can an in-bay automatic. Depends on the location, depends on the business model, depends on your competition. You know, here in this, this market, we were mainly trying to be able to compete with a new competitor that was coming to just maintain our place in the market here. The one thing I didn't count on was uh, an increase in revenue per car. We average in our touch-free and, and in our other touch-free here, we averaged a little over $7 a car. We're averaging well over $10 a car in the in -Bay Express, which is something that I never really considered, but in, that's real money. And it costs less to operate the, the McNeil mini tunnel conversion versus a touch-free automatic simply in water cost, chemical cost, and electricity cost. So at the end of the day, we make a lot more money per car. We have the opportunity to quadruple, maybe even five times the, the throughput. Well, I've had a lot of operators since we, since we did this project uh, all over the United States that have come to me with a question, you know, should I do this? Should I think about doing this in my market? And of course, every market's different. You know, I have people ask me all the time if I build another site like my pooler site with a 125-foot conveyor touch-free and five bays of self-serve on 1.6 acres. I mean, it's a huge, huge project. And I would if the demographic, if the project area would support it. I think you have to take every area you're looking to build a car wash and see what it needs. Um, but there are so many places within the United States that uh, this business model just fits uh, simply because, you know, it, it, there are only 15,000 cars a day passing by the property. Um, the Embay Express just makes really good sense. It makes sense to retrofit an old Embay site or even if you were building a new site that might wash enough cars to support two or three Embays, it makes better sense in today's market to put in a mini tunnel versus uh, an Embay automatic. Simply because of the throughput, the quality of wash, and the uh, reduced wait time for the customer. I mean, I can tell you right now that if we had the opportunity and the capital uh, in the hand at this moment, I've got two other sites that we'd make this conversion right this second.